What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video today. We are checking out the Nissan Juke R 2.0 and guys, don't knock this one yet, okay? This might end up being a much better car than you think, at least for some things. So anyways, we're going to do a stage 5 shift pattern and tune, a stage 6 shift pattern and tune when it's maxed out, and we're going to do a little review and talk about live racing and stuff, so... This is a updated version. I made a, a video a while ago, but we're redoing it. And this video is brought to you by Asho Speed the King. There's a link to his YouTube channel in this video's description. Today, I'm using his account to make this video. Now, when you have all the stage six parts and all the fusion parts installed and the car is 100% maxed out, this is how you're gonna tune it. And then we'll show you how to do it on stage five. But nitrous, when it's maxed out, nitrous on 220 and 4.9. We got the final drive at 2.3.24. And then we got our trans, man, I can't talk today. Then we got the tires down at eight PSI. <laughs> All right, this is gonna give us a dyno time of a 10.627, 10.627 on the dyno. All right, so we're gonna hold down the gas and we're gonna let go of the gas right before number one right around 40, 45 miles per hour. Try to shift into second gear and hit your nitrous all the rest of the shifts are pretty much right before the red line. So that's how you're going to drive this when it's maxed out. All right, let's give this a go. Three, two, one, go. Second, nitrous, third, fourth. And if you get your shifts just right, which is kind of hard to do, you might run something like a, uh, I think it'll run in the, the low fives, guys. I think this one will run in the low fives. If you get your shift just right that time we got a 10.675 it's hard to get it down into the 10.5 but you can do it so that's pretty much how you drive this guy on stage six when it's maxed out though it's not super easy to beat the dyno time when you have it maxed out now we're going to fit all the parts over to stage five and we're going to do the same thing on stage five and show you how to drive it and tune it and shift it and yeah Nitrous at 174 and 2.4. Final drive, I've just got that on the stock position at 3.70. And tire pressure is down at 8 PSI. Uh, that gives us a dyno of 11.889. 11.889 on the dyno. And I think we're just going to go ahead and shift it the exact same way. Let go of the gas right before we launch. Around 40-ish miles per hour. Shift into second and hit your nitrous. And all the rest right before the uh, green line there. All right. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth, sixth gear. And I think I buried the needle on one of those. So the car is going to run just a little bit slower because I had one bad shift. But that happens. The timing on this car is a little bit strange. There we got an 11.940 with a dyno of the 11.888. So I'm telling you, it's not an easy car to beat dyno. But the next thing we're going to look at is live racing. And this car does not need to beat dyno to live race. It will win the majority of live races without beating the dyno time, which is really cool. And that's why I love this car. All right, so let's do a quick little review on the car. What is this car good for? Well, the acceleration is really good. It has a great live racing setup, which I'm about to show you in just a minute. And besides that, uh, don't love the car for most things, okay? The car sucks at most things, but the acceleration is great and the live racing capabilities, which you're about to see, are great. So, I don't know. Maxed out, it can do something like 220 miles per hour, which isn't too bad, I guess, but not anything too special. Uh, 0 to 60 without any type of special tune in the 0 0.9, 0 to 100 and like 1.7. Now, if you tune it for uh, acceleration, you can get way faster times than that out of it. So it can be a really good car for fast acceleration when tuned correctly. And it's just a live racing beast. So yeah, pretty cool car for live racing and acceleration. Not so great for most other things. Now, we are going to switch back over to my account and show you guys the main event, what makes this car so awesome. The amazing live racing setup. Yeah. And as you can see, guys, we've got all the parts on stage four all the way across the board. So nitrous body, tires, transmission, engine, turbo, intake, all that stuff. Stage four for an amazing live racing setup that wins a lot of live races. 
And if you want to tune it to make it win all the live raises, guys, Nitra is at 131 over 7.2. Final drive at 4.29. And tires down at 14 PSI. And that's how we're going to set it up to make it a live racing beast. This gives us a dyno of a 13.202. But remember, we do not want to beat our dyno time on this, okay? If we live race while beating the dyno, it'll start pushing us into a lobby that's a little bit faster and then a little bit faster and then a little bit faster. And we will no longer be able to win live race. And then we'll have to run a bunch of really slow races to reset the car back to the right lobby. If you can run 13 twos constantly, I think this one runs, actually runs a little slower, but it wins live races. Let's actually go take this into live racing and check it out because I'm on my personal account right now. I just switched back to my account. So let's go live race this little guy so you can see it in action. Now you got to remember there are certain cars that you want to avoid racing. There's some cars that are just going to stomp you. There's other cars where you're just going to kick everybody's butt. So we're going to shift it pretty much the same way you saw on the stage five and stage six tune. So let's do it to it. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth gear, sixth gear. And that's all she wrote. And we're going to win most of these races as long as we race the right cars. There are certain cars where you just want to make sure you don't race them because, hey, that's not going to happen if you race the wrong cars. Like, stay away from the Lexus LC500. Oh, man, that guy disconnected. All right, so he's challenging me again, so we're going to go ahead and race him. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second Nitrous, third, fourth. And I keep messing up my shifts a little bit, guys. It's not, uh, the timing is a little bit weird. It's going to take a little bit of time to get used to the way this car shifts, but it will pretty much come out dominant on most races. All right, so that time we got him. Hopefully he didn't disconnect. There we go. I ran a 13.3 something, and I know the dyno is a 13.2, but this car usually runs in the 13.3s for me and still wins most of the live races. That guy ran a 13.7. We got nice RP, pretty good game cash. I mean, I like this car. All right, so we're going to try our luck against this one. I'm not really sure if this one's going to be able to beat us or not because that's actually a really, really good live racing car. All right, that Jeep can be great at live racing if you drive it and set it up correctly. So we're going to give it a go. I have a feeling he's got the really good live racing tune on his. There we go. That was a little better. That was a little better. So, I don't know if we're going to win this one or not. But I have a feeling we're going to win most, if not all, of the races. We got him. We got him. This little juke is a mean machine, guys. This little juke is a mean machine. Ah, there we ran down to the uh, 13 twos. He ran a 13.5. But for a long time, this was my go-to live racing car. Just because it does this on most races. All right, we'll go ahead and do one more live race. Ooh, this guy wants to bet 30000 and I'm going to be crazy, and I'm going to go ahead and take it. This is a little scary, but you know what? He might have a crazy tune on this car. Usually when people do bets, they've got a crazy tune. So let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Oh, crap. I shifted it so wrong right there. I think we buried the needle on second gear and third gear. So we're probably going to have a really slow run, but we still got him, guys. We still got him. Even though I messed up my shift pattern, we still got him. Yeah, look at that. I ran a 13.4. I don't know what the deal is, but for some reason on stage four, this car gets a giant lobby advantage, guys. Oh, he wants to race again. Let's let's go ahead and do the... Let's let, give him a chance to take his 30,000 back, right? Oh, he wants to put it up to 80. I have a feeling uh, this might be a little weird. I have a feeling maybe he was holding back and hoping I would re-bet him. But let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth. What? I don't think I said that right. But anyways, <laughs> I think I uh, misspoke about my shifts right there. But are we going to get him? Are we going to get him? Ooh, baby. Yes, yes. We came out victorious, and we got the big bunny, guys. 
we got the big money there we ran the 13.3 he ran the 13.4 so yeah he wants to race me again i guess we'll do it i guess we'll do it i'm gonna bet him the i don't know we'll, we'll bet him like fifty thousand. let's raise it and see what happens this is gonna get fun and crazy he took the bet he took the bet all right so after this i'm gonna go ahead and cut the video off but Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth gear, sixth gear. And I think I got a really good shift pattern that time. Like I said, it's very hard to get like a really, really, really good time out of this car. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to raise him again. I'm done taking his money. But uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Great races. It was fun, but... Uh, yeah, we got to go, guys. We got to go. So there we have it, guys. The Stage 5 Shift and Tune, the Stage 6 Shift and Tune, live racing setup. All right, I think that wraps this video up. But before you guys go, check this out real quick. If you enjoy this content, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, click that little bell and set those notifications to all, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in this video's description to get some awesome Danny Lightning gear or join my Discord. And if you'd really like to help support the channel, click the join button or the thank you button that's down below this video. All monthly channel members get access to the VIP rooms on my Discord server. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who comes by and watches my videos. I really appreciate you guys a lot. You guys are amazing. Have an awesome day and we will catch you next time. Lightning out. See ya.